Um, UT Martin, very good basketball team, very well coached. Um, Chelsea Perry is, is one of the best that, as long as I've been on this earth, she's one of the best play in this conference for sure. Um, she, uh, she's exceptional, but they have a lot of pieces to go with her. Maddie, Maddie's great too and outstanding. We know what to expect from her, but you know, early in the game, we tried to stop them and other kids made shots, which is what you expect. But you know, our Achilles heel is the first three or four minutes of the game. We had some of the best shots we've gotten against them all year and didn't make any. So we set the tone. You want your uh, save your best for last. And today was our worst shooting percentage of the season. And we just didn't have enough to overcome any of that. Well, I mean, I don't know. You'd have to question every one of them. If, whether they've been beat by 55 points or not, I think is irrelevant personally. I mean, we lost the game, whether we lost by one or 70. It is what it is, and you have to move on from it. You know, our goal right now is to get our kids healthy. We still have surgeries to go, and so we're going to make sure that we get our kids healthy, and we do everything we can to get them back as good as possible, and we're going to work on the weaknesses of the players that we have coming back. And, you know, it's, it, it's a fresh start. It's an opportunity for them all to get better. Just from a big picture, I think you used the word resiliency all year, and it was quite the accomplishment to be here. Uh, what do you say about them with all the injuries that have gotten to this stage? Right. Well, you know, we were a little behind that, uh, you know, behind anyway, and we were a little, we were a little, uh, we only had 13 players on the roster to begin the season and you know some kids transferred uh, late and so we, we were a little behind but then when the kids that we had and we were going to count on to play substantial minutes start going down one after another it's an issue but you know I told the kids after the game they're not going to remember your record from this year you know the, they may or may not remember this game but what they're going to remember about you is that your character and your resilience and your willingness to do whatever it took to at least get us to this tournament. I mean, this is an experience that we needed these kids to be in. We want to make them as uncomfortable as possible every single day until we can get comfortable with who we are. Uh, Lacey, the, the four young women that Coach was just talking about were constantly on the sidelines talking, talking players up, talking team up. How important is it to see the four of them kind of work through and talk with the team with each time out, kind of coaching almost? It's good. I mean, we're taught to just lift each other up all the time. So, I mean, that's just what we're doing, what they were doing. Actually, Coach talked all year about that to me and up. Uh, Abraham had 10 points tonight. Uh, led the team. Talked about just your, your mindset coming in, trying to help out the team. Uh, my goal was just to come in and be aggressive and just help us in any way I could. And um, with all the injuries and stuff, you just got to be ready to play. You mentioned worst shooting performance of the year. Uh, at shoot around, did, did you get a, any, any sense that that might be the case? Is it this arena or was it just that one following? I, I didn't get a sense of, of anything at the shoot around. You got about 20 minutes, so you don't get really a sense of much. But, you know, just a situation in which we had open looks and we had layups and we didn't make them. And against teams like this, you cannot leave anything on the, on the table. And we just, you know, we, one of our Achilles heel, heels all year long is we didn't make shots. I mean, our shooting percentages was way worse than they were last year, individually and as a team. And, I mean, it's something that we're going to have to look at going forward. And hopefully that, you know, with the mix of, of old and new next year, we'll be able to do a better job being more efficient scoring the basketball. I mean, you have to pick your poison, and I mean, when you look at their stats, and Maddie and Chelsea score like 45 of their 71 points. So, when you're already behind, no, no one going in, you do whatever you can to try to stop them. In the first four, I guess, to the first media timeout, the thing, things went pretty well. I mean, we got them to take uh, take shots, but we didn't rebound the basketball. They put it back in, and again, you know, two or three of those shots go in the beginning of the game could make the difference, but. You know, just wasn't meant to be today. They're a very good basketball team. They are way better than us in every position. I'm not going to sugarcoat anything. Our kids know that. We got a lot of work to do. Does that work start right now? I mean, I know you got to get everybody healthy. 
I think we got to give them two weeks off, something like that. Um, I, I don't know what the rule is for sure, but we got spring break coming up and stuff like that. We're going to have some individual meetings and determine, you know, where we're going to go from here, um, and they'll have some time off. But, you know, main thing we got to do is when we go back, it's going to be a lot of individual work because until our surgeries and recuperations over, there's definitely not going to be five on five on five at any time soon. They're just long and athletic, and you know our main ball handlers sitting on the bench. So I mean that's that's a difficult situation. You know we we turned Alexis Burpo into a point guard best we could could all season, but I mean eventually, you know they started face guarding her, so other people had to step up and handle the basketball, and we didn't do a great job of that. One of our goals every game is to keep points off turnovers and second chance under 30. They had 27 at halftime, so I think that's pretty indicative of how the game went.